Hi folks, welcome back to the shop. Today I just want to talk briefly about the Milwaukee LED searchlight. Uh, this is the model number 2554-20, of course the dash 20 indicating that it's a, a tool only product. So there's no battery with this, uh, with this light. Um, LED searchlight is how Milwaukee advertises the light. Just wanted to show the box here real quick. If you, uh, if you look at this, we'll look at the specs here real quick. You can see that this light, it has, Milwaukee claims it's got a beam distance here of over 700 yards. Uh, it can be uh, adjusted up to 198 degrees of rotation. We'll show that here in a minute That's why, and why that's interesting. Uh, it can do a spot and floodlight and of course a floodlight, just a spotlight and strobe. So it's got, I guess, four different modes total there. Uh, the light Sci-Fi 54 uh, water and dust uh, rating resistance, of course it's impact resistant. Uh, 1250 lumens, now that is if you have the spot and the floodlight on. The spotlight actually does just 600 lumens, okay? And uh, the flood puts out 1200 lumens. Kind of surprised that the spotlight didn't put out you know, more than 600 lumens. Not that it can't perform at 600 lumens, but just a little surprised that it didn't uh, have a higher uh, output uh, and an attempt to, to reach you know, a uh, uh, more uh, impressive uh, floodlight. But here's the uh, searchlight here. We can check it out. Uh, I'm gonna set it down here and you can see the light. Let's start with the battery off here. Of course, the battery slips on the end of the light. Uh, it's got uh, the modes as I've shown in the box. Here's where you control the modes, change your modes. I like that because you know you turn it on and off and it, it maintains its mode. When you turn the light off, turn it back on, you know you're not gonna have to switch through the modes to get what you, you're, you're wanting out of the light. Uh, it's got a, a keyhole hook here on the side, or, or I should say on the front. Uh, and I like the fact by, by design of this light that it has this bar that's flat all the way down the light so you could you know, mount this to a flat surface, like a wall of course, put it on a wall, slide it down, and uh, it's, it's ready to retrieve when you need it. Uh, you could put it on a screw or you know, a nail, probably preferably a screw of some kind, something with a head so it would lock on there, it wouldn't fall off the wall. Um, let's see here, let's look at the light here real quick. You've got, on the front of the light, it has um, these these LEDs here on the corner uh, that you can see that those are, those support the floodlight, okay? Of course, the center light is obviously your spotlight or searchlight with a reflective uh, cone, it's recessed into the light that's where you're you're getting that and of course when you put you turn both of them on all of these leds are torn on, turned on the uh this edge here kind of looks like a rubber over mold if you you just see this but this is actually you know a hard plastic it's not a rubber over mold of course the lights uh, recessed here you have a, a a bevel on here that if you were to set the light down you know on its face it's not going to scratch the lens right so that's it's good to good to know. Good that's designed in. Uh, got a lanyard strap here, so if you wanted to put this light on a lanyard, there is a strap loop here. You can see the hook there for that guy, and at the other end, uh, there's a lanyard hook. So I guess you could have a lanyard that goes over your hand here uh, on the handle of this light. Uh, now, when I first hooked this light up, turned it on. Uh, I wasn't uh, blown away. You know, I, I turned this light on and I was expecting to sort of be kind of shocked at its, uh, uh, its distance and so on. Uh, you'll notice it takes about two seconds for the light beam to get to full brightness. If I turn it on, you know, it starts off a little dimmer two seconds before the floodlight or the, uh, the, the spotlight comes up to its full brightness mode. Yeah, that's both modes. Okay, there's our spotlight. I think that illustrates it, how it kind of go, it comes up slowly. Um, but I, I wasn't blown away when I first turned it on. I think that's probably because it's it's sort of part of uh, Milwaukee's TrueView, uh, uh, what they call their TrueView tech or the TrueView uh, style of light where it's more of a, a maybe a 4000K uh, light. Uh, it's not it's not the cool white bright LED we maybe we're accustomed to. So sometimes I think you know, naturally we just think, oh, it's not as bright or it's not, you know, it's not giving us the same distance when in fact it is, it's just the, the color temperature of the light is different. So that's probably what the, my initial reaction was. One of the things I like is, it, as I was showing you on the box is it does have this 198 degrees of rotation. So you, know, you can swing the light all the way around 
to the uh, back position, right? Full uh, 198 degrees, so that's handy if you're using this as a work light or putting it in a stationary location. What I really think is clever from Milwaukee is that, you know, when you put the light, instead of just being 90 degrees, like, you know, right there, that's about a full 90 or so, right? That it tips down a little bit. So you can have it point down at the work, right? So if you're, if you're and that's why I really think Milwaukee kind of missed a marketing opportunity. I've seen this light for years and thought, well, you know, I don't need a searchlight. A search, you know, I think when you see searchlight on here, and it's, of course it's written right on the, on the light itself, LED searchlight, you know, when you see that, you think, oh, this is, uh, you know, kind of for, for search and rescue. But, and that's how I thought of it. I thought, well, I'm not, you know, rarely doing that. Don't really need it. Lately, we've had a need uh, for a spotlight to deal with uh, some coyotes uh, uh, that we're, we're dealing with in the area. Uh, so we've been looking at a different uh, uh, spotlights. And, of course, it's nice if you can get it, a spotlight that works with your 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 tool batteries because you have access, you already have the batteries and chargers and naturally it, it's, it's something that lends itself well to using your existing uh, uh, batteries. But anyway, we were looking at these different lights and as such, we were comparing this uh, to the uh, DeWalt spotlight. So DeWalt has one as well. You can see here, kind of get a comparison of these two lights we're looking into to both of these products. And there you can see sort of a difference in the, in the width of the two lights, right? The two different profiles there in terms of the, get an idea of their sizes. It's interesting, the DeWalt light's actually taller uh, than the Milwaukee light. The, uh, the DeWalt light, it uh, only has about 90 degrees of, of, of rotation. It can point straight out like this or down to 90 degrees. Doesn't point down, doesn't give you that extra angle down where it's pointing down to the work. Uh, would be uh, um, nice if it did that. Does have a hook on the back. You can bring this up and I guess hook the light or hang it on something. Sort of gives your, uh, you get that added feature. I guess there's a lanyard clip. Yeah, here and lanyard clip here. And of course here on the handle has that similar feature. Trigger style like a, uh, you know, like a cordless drill. They both run about the same price. Um, I think that DeWalt can be a little, if you have a lighter battery on it, you know, and you go to about this, right around here, this setting, <laughs> it can be a little top heavy, wanna, wanna fall forward. Uh, it has, in the front, you can see it has four different LEDs. This one is a red LED, shines a red light. These three are for the, the white spotlight that this DeWalt light puts out. So just wanted to show that for comparison purposes if you were trying to decide between these two lights as, as we were, um, or maybe you, you know, end up having two different situations where you need different lights or you know, different platforms, whatever, but you can, that, that really that's what's gonna drive the choice, right, is what platform you're, you're on most likely. But there's just a look there at the DeWalt real quick so you can get a, a feel for a comparison if you were thinking about the two lights. I'm sure they're probably some of the more popular lights. But yeah, I think it's another thing, of course it has these heat sinks, same with the DeWalt. Large heat sinks are right here behind the plastic around the light. You can feel the heat off the light when you turn it on, it does get warm. Um, but you know, this is a light where I think Milwaukee definitely missed a marketing opportunity. I mean, you can mount this light on, on the rear, point it down, something you're working on, you can put this on a ladder, on a truck bed, you name it. And, you know, because of that flood feature, which, you know, because they call it a searchlight, you don't really think of that, but because of that flood feature right there, they got it on the flood mode. Yeah, that's, you know, this could really take the place of the rocket light, you know? And I think for a lot of folks, if you say, hey, it's a work light and really kind of talk about that, uh, people might be more inclined to purchase this because, you know, you're gonna probably use, most folks are gonna use a work light or have a use for a work light, you know, and, and, and can more justify regular use of this light to help justify the cost. Um, but anyway, there you have it. Just a quick look at the Milwaukee uh, uh, M18 searchlight. I do think it's a, a, a good product, a good light. Due for an update, I don't know, maybe. I think it's been around for some years now, maybe five years, I think. I've seen some, some talk about it as, as far back as five years ago. Uh, you never know, that's the thing. They could come out with something new and you know updated LEDs, maybe up the lumens, I don't know. but. Uh, like I said earlier, it does have that TrueView technology, not unlike their other lights. You know, I have their 12 volt here, 
where you know it gives you that that sort of I don't want to say it's yellow, but it's more of a warm light. It's not, it's not yellow, but but it is more of a warmer light that's supposed to give you more accurate reflection of colors, so that you can, uh, you know, like for, for the for a work light, if you're working on wiring harnesses or anything where color, where you've got to identify different colors, it's going to give you more accurate uh, representation of what the true color is. Anyway, there you have it, folks. The uh, Milwaukee M18 Searchlight. I think it's a good product for sure. A heavy product. Uh, I should mention as well somewhat heavy. I mean, this is about three pounds without the battery. Okay. The DeWalt have not weighed it, but it feels like comparatively speaking, I'd say it's about a pound. You know, it's, it's, this one feels very light as opposed to the, uh, uh, the Milwaukee, you know, and that's of course, you know, even without the battery. Um, now one thing I should mention as well is that I did try this, you know, I've got just this little, uh, one and a half amp hour, uh, compact battery on here. I did try this with a larger high output battery just to check. Cause I know, you know, of course some Milwaukee tools will have higher outputs and more power if you put a larger battery on there because you're getting more, you know, more amps, more Watts out of the, the power source. Well, I didn't see any difference in terms of the light output on this light. So nice to, I, I like to have this, uh, smaller battery on here just to make the overall light a little, a little bit lighter to carry around. But, but yeah, I think if you're, you know, if you're looking to use this as a work light, I think it's excellent. You know, you can articulate the head here on the base the way I have it, or you could set it down this way and articulate it up or, or overhang it over like setting it down this way and hang it over like a, you know, a truck hood or a truck bed or something like that. I think it'd be very handy and, and probably really should be talked or described more as a, a work light from my perspective. And I think Milwaukee would probably sell a lot more of them. With that said, uh, that's all for, for, for today. And uh, please consider, uh, uh, please uh, remember to uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.